Do you know someone who experiences panic attacks? Or have you ever experienced one? I'm Todd Goodwin, and over the years in my practice as a hypnotist, I've seen and helped dozens of people whose primary concern or issue was recurring panic attacks. It could be a panic attack they have once a week, it could be every time they drive on the highway, or it could be something that's only happened a few times, but their fear of having that panic attack is enough to help them, uh, to motivate them to seek help. So, first of all, what is a panic attack and how can we eliminate that problem? First of all, without resorting to dry clinical definitions, basically what's happening with a panic attack is it's a runaway adrenaline response triggered by usually stress or anxiety on some level, which causes a surge in stress hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, and all of that. And it causes all, a lot of our physiological uh, systems to overwork. When we feel this flood of adrenaline, uh, we have rapid heart rate, sometimes shortness of breath. We can have dizziness, nausea, weakness in some cases in our muscles. And uh, because we're observing this in ourselves when it's happening, it becomes very scary emotionally, which actually reinforces the cycle. So in some cases, a panic attack is just a runaway fear response that manifests physically and to such a degree that it leads to what some people used to call a nervous breakdown or a meltdown. So uh, usually the term is, over, is overused. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, I had a panic attack, and if you dig further, they really just got nervous. That's not a panic attack. But panic attacks are responsible for a lot of people being admitted to the emergency room because they think they're having a heart attack. And I think it's, I've always found it somewhat amusing uh, that you have people in their early 20s going to the emergency room thinking they're having a heart attack when they have no idea that it's a completely emotional reason why it's happening. Well, it's not a laughing matter for people who suffer from these things. So really what's happened is when people have anxiety or intense stress and they're not dealing with that effectively, it builds up and it can be triggered by certain situations that then cause an overload of that fear response and the adrenaline gets out of control and then uh, the person loses physical and emotional self-control to the point where they feel helpless and completely overwhelmed. That is a panic attack. Now, what happens when people experience this several times? Well, it can actually become a habit. And it actually is not just emotional, but it's a physical habit because some people are more apt to having an overload of adrenaline. So, when this happens, the nervous system becomes conditioned in the same way you might condition yourself by going to the gym and, and conditioning your heart and your lungs or conditioning your muscles to be strong, these are people who have conditioned themselves through repetition to have a stress response and to flood themselves with stress hormones. So part of the solution to eliminating panic attacks is, most importantly, uh, alleviating the underlying anxiety or stress that has led to the physical uh, manifestation of a panic attack. And that's done by changing the underlying thought pattern that creates stress or anxiety. In addition, it's important to decondition the stress response in the nervous system or recondition that person to have a relaxation response. That's the opposite. Technically speaking, the stress response is called a sympathetic dominant nervous system response. The sympathetic nervous system is what allows us to get up and go and take action. And our parasympathetic is the relaxation, the healing, the sleeping, the digesting, uh, the more calm and relaxed half of our nervous system. Now, every healthy person has to have a balance of sympathetic and parasympathetic. So we do need a stress response at times, and we do need to have the capability to experience that. But when we become overly conditioned to have a stress response, we need to work in the opposite direction to condition the relaxation or parasympathetic response. And one of the best ways to do this is hypnosis because hypnosis is a relaxed state of mind usually accompanied by a relaxed state of body where we are in the relaxation response, parasympathetic dominant. 
This gives our body a chance to diffuse stress hormones. It gives our body a chance to really rest. And for many people, many of my clients have told me it's the most relaxing experience they've ever been aware of. The only thing more relaxing would be sleeping, and most people are unconscious for that. So the, the solution for panic attacks is twofold. Once again, one, eliminate the underlying uh, mindset and belief system that creates stress or anxiety that gets to a level where it causes a panic attack in some people. That's the first thing. And second, uh, to recondition the nervous system to go into relaxation first and to create a parasympathetic dominant nervous system which is the opposite of how most people are in this very stressed uh, and anxiety ridden world we live in with all the pressure we put on ourselves. So that's the solution for panic attacks. Change your mind, recondition your nervous system. Once that happens, panic attacks are a thing of the past as well as the underlying anxiety and excessive stress that have caused it.